we're finally done getting everything ready on the inside. So um, we'll do the walkthrough. I'll show you everything. So this is the inside. We got it all situated and set up pretty much. And this is Lauren and Alex. Hi. Hey. Over here we have the, the dinette set. It has two seats. It also has a leaf here that we'll pull out. There's two extra chairs in the back that you can sit there to extend out uh, for seating. The seats also open so that there's storage inside there. The cool thing about all the windows in here is that all of these windows open up uh, for airflow and these these slides are super tall. I'm six foot tall and I still have room to spare standing inside the slide. All these uh, windows come with the uh, the blackout roller so if you want to roll those down but they're not actually the black color they're the tan color um, so that your your decor is not all jacked up with the black color. Uh, you still have plenty of color in here and plenty of light can shine through uh, everywhere else that you don't have that closed but if you want it dark you can close those out the lights inside the inside the slides here you have the accent lighting in the trim or in the crown molding up top you have the ceiling fan up there lighting throughout you get the lighting on the on the island uh, this is the island here it has a carbon monoxide detector on the island uh, back here you have the remote station that we installed last night. Hold the remotes, the light switches control the lights up here. Over here you have plugs and outlets which we have like USB charging stations plugged into. Have some extra storage space up here. I think we got we got extra things up here, extra bedding for the uh, sleeper sofa. This sofa will fold out into a queen size bed. Yeah. Queen size folds out into a queen size sofa, and you know it's a little lumpy when you when you pull it out because it's not even. But if you just put the uh, like a foam topper. topper up there, it's cool. There's another charging station on this side. It's not really a charging station. It's a there's an outlet on this side where you can plug in whatever laptop or whatever you're working on. Over here you have the widescreen TV and some storage above there. We have the fireplace down here there's a remote control that controls that so you can turn that on right now it's just for ambiance you can change uh, how bright the flame is and then if you want it to put out heat it is like a space heater too so it'll put out it'll put out some heat down here you have your speakers that put out all the sound and then down here you have your entertainment system there's a little bit of storage down here if you want to put something down here but this has um, AM FM it controls all the stations of where the uh, sound is coming out throughout the coach it also has a CD a DVD player that uh, works through the TV or you can put CDs in there to play uh, audio music the accent lighting on this side also over to the kitchen My favorite place. yeah so is the sink Think how the uh, covers that also double as cutting boards, and then you have the 70-30 split sinks. Has a stainless steel sink with the sprayer. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Over here we have plenty of storage for all of our stuff, cooking utensils. Has a residential stove, gas cooktop, three burners. Convection microwave. Convection microwave oven. So you, you can microwave and you can actually cook in there. Some lighting up there with the wine rack. And then up here you have the pop-up charging stations. There's a tower over here that you can plug in regular electric or you can plug in some USB devices. And in front of this napkin holder there's another one that pops up. There's a third one over here. Thank you, Alex. That pops up. And can go back down. Um, there's more storage over here. What we really like is there's a spot for the trash can. A lot of coaches didn't come with that, but this one did. And then plenty of spots for your accessories. You can access all of your silverware. You can access all of your plumbing from down here in case you had to get to that or work on that. 
furnace vents are in the floor, um, which I don't know if I'm really a fan of that. Um, some of them have them in the in the side walls, so that you don't have uh, vents in the floor. But these these do have the vents in the floor. I don't think it's a big issue. If you had like kids that like to shove stuff down vents, it'd probably be an issue. But for us, it's not not terrible. Over here we have a good sized pantry. It's actually bigger than our pantry at home. It's super deep. Uh, you lose a little bit of space because that's part of the um, storage underneath the coach. But in here, you can see that's super deep. We're going to put up some tension rods to make sure that things don't um, bounce around in there. We'll put down some contact paper to make sure that things aren't skidding around and things like that. Over here, we have more storage. Uh, we have some pots and pans, things like that. We have our coffee maker up here and just some accident stuff. Up here is our control panel, which is hidden. So you can't really tell that that's where it would be, but there's some other extra space for storage up there. This controls all your slides, it controls all your lights, your tanks, your water heater, your fan, and it also tell you how much, um, how much power you still have in your batteries, how full your tanks are, all that good stuff. Leslie hooked up some plant decor. Boiling up top some foliage we have the residential samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator with the freezer in the bottom so this is the residential fridge so it runs solely off of electric it has a little device that screws right in here uh, to keep that fridge closed when we're traveling a couple of other switches that control some of the other lights as soon as you walk in, if you were to turn right, you would see the stairs at the bottom of the stairs right in here. There is a vacuum. So you sweep all your stuff up there, kick it on, and kick it on. And it sucks all your dirt right out. Instead of having to fiddle with that little line of dirt that will never go in the dustpan. This will go this will kick it right outside. So that's good. And there's a little light too so you can see what's going on there. As soon as you walk in, you'll see the little hooks for your keys and for your coats. There's the stairs. And a little handrail here. What, what we like about the bathroom door is um, the Keystone Montanas have the pivot doors. So this thing pivots and closes, but when you open it up, it pivots up here. So it doesn't block the hall. It doesn't block the hall and it doesn't swing into the bathroom and take up any of your bathroom space. The big walk-in shower here that I can fit in really well. I uh, lots of light I in here. It has the hose. Leslie's got everything hooked up in here. We got the uh, trash can and the scrubbing brush and some decorations. This is like a towel bin here. It's really deep back in there, so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, over here, sink, mirror. Um, down here is where the toilet paper is. And have some space down here. And again, you can access all of your plumbing if you need to go in there and work. And you know, each one of us have our own drawer here for our, for our things. And then also up on this side, we have um, shelves and we got our own, each got our own shelf and even got an extra shelf up there. Go back to the bedroom. The king size bed, which uh, you probably have seen the footage of us trying to get this mattress in here and the other mattress out. Uh, we did uh, change the bedding out and we did have to take these shelves. They were down a little lower, but this bed is a, is a, is a higher bed. So what we had to do was, um, we had to, to remove these and we had to lift them up and then uh, reinstall them so that this bed would fit in there with all the bedding and the mattress covers and all that stuff. Those windows on the side each open and each space has a uh, reading light there. This right here controls the, uh, the antenna. So the TV channels that you see in there, if they get fuzzy or pixelated, you can adjust uh, your antenna direction. Big mirror in the walk-in closet there. Over here is where our uh, stackable washer and dryer resides. If you choose not to have a washer and dryer, you, you have more, more storage space for your clothes and things like that. 
but we opted to have the washer and dryer since we're gonna be full time we needed to we felt like we needed to have a washer and dryer this uh closet door has a little locking mechanism on it here so that that door is not going to slide all over the place when you are traveling inside here is a decent size closet um, so there's a decent sized closet down here we have some extra bedding and stuff in there these are our, our uh, hangers that we're going to hang all of our clothes on has some power back there and then down at the bottom has some storage where you can put shoes or accessories or whatever you would want to put down there and then on the other side of the bedroom is a dresser with a couple of drawers you can put some stuff in there window and then the tv and we like the way that this tv is slanted down so when you're in in bed it's kind of kicked down at a good angle so that you can see it better we do have two air conditioning systems in this coach there's one uh, in the bedroom and there's also a vent that runs off this same ac unit in the bathroom and then the second air conditioning unit is out in the front all right so we're on the outside now first thing i want to talk about is the, the hitch pin uh, for the road armor the trail air uh, it keeps it from bouncing around it has a you know, pretty thick piece of rubber in there to keep it from bouncing around and we learned the hard way that um, the catch plate on this because we have the slider hitch we have a short bed truck so we had to have a slider hitch so that the Front cap, when we hit, make tight turns, doesn't hit the back of the cab of the truck because we have a mega cap truck. We learned that uh, this catch plate has to be perfectly aligned with that uh, hitch before you hook up or else it's not good. So the front cap has some LED lights on it um, just for accent and then also you know, if, you're, if you're traveling. The cool thing is the color on these things are orange which matches the, the lights on the top of the truck. Back here is where we have one of our big propane tanks and then the connection for the uh, hydraulics for the automatic leveling system. Big pass-through storage down here. Um, up here you can see when I push this up, get the magnets here so that'll catch and hold that door up so that it's smacking in the head. Plenty of space back here. I know you guys have probably seen some of the videos and some of the stuff that we bought, uh, all the crap that we brought out here to the RV. and. Uh, and that's how much space that we still have after we put everything away inside and everything away uh, for the outside. This is mostly stuff that we'll be using outside, but you can see there's lots of space out here. There's some extra um, power outlets out here, and then this is also where you would hook up your vacuum uh, to suck all of the dirt Bag. out that you kick out uh, from under the stairs that I showed you earlier. Stable. We've got the stable stairs uh, when you're walking in, so you don't have little bouncy guys at the bottom. Uh, these are pretty stable, and these fold right up into the door on travel days. What's cool on these stairs is you lift them up and they'll pretty much stay wherever you lift, lift them. It doesn't take much to lift them up. Um, so pretty easy. Put this guy all the way all the way up and then the door will close and you put the safety bar across. And these are really easy to maneuver. I know some of y'all probably confused from when I walked in earlier. <laughs> But this says Montana 3120RL. The 3120RL is one with the camping refrigerator or the camper the refrigerator. Door. And the 3121 is the one with the residential refrigerator. And I just showed you that we have a residential <laughs> refrigerator, which means we have a Montana 3121RL. They put the wrong decal on the rig. We have a new decal on order, so as soon as it comes, swap that out. The awning up here, automatic awning, that comes uh, pretty far out, and then there's lighting up under there and you'll see the two speakers uh, so if you want to listen to your tunes outside all these windows out here on the outside are the seamless windows uh, that keeps the uh, seals from wearing out earlier than what they normally would and I like the way it looks um, sleeker definitely looks a lot sleeker out here we have um, another small TV again it has the magnets so it'll catch this up here and then this also will pull out and swivel um, this is just to keep it from bouncing around on travel days, but um, you sit out here, hang out, you know, watch the Cubs beat the Cardinals or uh -huh. whatever, you know, and uh, what's cool about this model is it has a second awning on the slide, which will come out and protect you while you're out here uh, hanging out. I'll get under here a little bit and show you that we have the um, road armor shocks on this model. Almost everything on this thing is LCI. So it comes pretty standard with that. All right, around back you have uh, your ladder, so you have roof access, so you can get up there and uh, do any maintenance you need to do or just clean the roof off. 
uh, we will have to, we don't have the slide awning, so when we leave campsites, we'll have to get up and uh, sweep off the top of the slides, so we'll put those in, it doesn't have like needles and, and debris and stuff in there, mess up your steel and stuff like that. This is where our 50 amp power hooks into, and um, we got a pretty long cord. Uh, we haven't bought an extension to that, I don't know if we'll need to or not. And we did opt in for the um, backup Furion camera. 12 gallon hot water heater in here. So that'll get you a couple decent showers, hot water before you run out. And it's like, uh, it's supposed to like reset. I don't even know how fast, pretty yeah, fast. Pretty quickly. So I mean, you have to wait a little bit. You have to wait a little bit, but it's not, it's not terrible. This is the other side of the uh, pass through storage and it also has the access uh, to all of our controls for the water systems. It has the uh, battery disconnect so if you want to turn off your battery uh, while you're traveling or if you're going to store your RV uh, disconnect that so that you don't come back to dead batteries and um, has you know outdoor shower um, winterization stuff this is where you hook in and it also has your gray and black tank um, release valves so when you drain your tanks that's where you do that from so here in here you have your automatic leveling system and we have the six point leveling system there's uh, one up front there's uh, well there's two up front there's two in the two. middle and then two in the back uh, the cool thing about this is um, if you're in a tight spot you can turn off the slides on on either side of uh, your rig so that those slides don't come out when you're opening your slides uh, so you don't hit whatever you don't want to hit the automatic leveling system the other cool part is um, when you turn this back on we've already went through the autom automatic leveling sequence so our coach right now is level but when we go to hook back up when I turn this on, if I hold the left and the right together, all of the other legs will retract. And then these two in the front will lift up and return the coach to the position that it was at when I unhooked. So that I don't have to really fiddle around with trying to get the right height. It'll be already at the right height so that I can just line the truck up and back it right onto the hitch and be gone. Now here we have the... Uh, All your battery access, um, so under there we have two uh, batteries, and then we have all of your access to your hydraulic fluids and all that good stuff. <laughs> Down here you either have more storage for whatever stuff you want, or you can put um, a Jeez. generator down here. We ordered a uh, Champion 3400 dual fuel. Dual fuel inverter generator yeah what she said <laughs> so it'll run off gas or propane well that's it that's the thorough walkthrough of the rv so we mm -hmm. hope uh, you guys like the rv we like it yeah it's comfortable mm -hmm. it looks and feels more like home now grumpy cat and grumpy cat <laughs> both agree two out of two grumpy cats agree good stuff hope you guys liked it well, we're gonna have fun can't wait. I'm hungry. I'm starving too. That's a wrap. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye.